I think UK pension schemes are at the beginning of a journey when it comes to member engagement. Um, to be fair to schemes uh, that have seen a massive, massive influx of members thanks to automatic enrolment, there's been a huge amount to think about just getting millions of people enrolled into the system. But I think it's quite clear that policymakers and schemes themselves see the next phase of the automatic enrolment revolution being about real engagement that makes this pensions business uh, meaningful, interesting, engaging, and ultimately more results orientated for UK pension savers. Well, for years at Share Action, we've provided very simple online tools that allow people to, to log on to our website put in the name of their pension scheme and send an email on something that's important to them. Um, but we want to see a far more sort of deep and interesting form of uh, engagement for members and schemes. So we're really interested in annual member meetings and we're very, very excited about the fact that more and more schemes, um, automatic enrolment providers seem to be really engaging with that. Legal in general really set the pace, but others are following, which is wonderful. And that provides a real once a year opportunity face to face for scheme members who are interested in what's happening to their money uh, and meeting the people that have these important roles looking after it to get the chance to ask some questions, hear a presentation. So annual members meetings is uh, something we're, we're, we're campaigning for and championing, but um, we we really think that there's all kinds of ways that dig digital technology could allow schemes and members to interact in a more exciting way um, for schemes to really understand what matters to members, for, for members to learn, uh, not not just about the investments held on their behalf but about how the whole system works uh, because as we all know the minimum level of contributions is just not enough for people uh, to put aside for the future so we have to encourage and excite people uh, about what's happening and what savings about and, and, and I think member engagement can just play this critically important role in that. Well we're a an NGO with a dedicated focus on responsible investment. So people that come uh, to us are generally really interested in the sustainability of their um, investments. They're interested in climate change, both from the point of view of being really concerned about how it might affect their lives and the lives of their children. But also many people get that climate change could actually represent quite an important financial risk uh, to their savings. So that's a big one. People are passionately interested in whether the, the companies in their pension fund portfolio treat work as well. That again and again comes out in surveys and in our experience of something people are really interested in. And it's generally a whole suite of corporate responsibility issues. Do companies pay a fair share of tax? Do companies um, pay their directors a crazy amount of money? These are things that people hear about on the news every day. They think about it. They have views on it. And through their pension fund, they can connect with the real economy in that way. And, and so that's, those are the types of issues that, that people that get in touch with us are interested in. I, we see improvement all the time so there's no doubt that the standards of responsible investment um, have risen from a low base I would have to say um, so it's it's taken a while but it's been very helpful to have things like the UK Law Commission signalling that these things are financially material as well as being of ethical interest to fund members and so yeah standards are, are rising and, and I would say that communication strategies with members on these issues are also improving but again from a low base and when you look around the corporate sector more broadly um, and you see some of the consumer facing industries whether it's technology companies or consumer goods companies are just brilliant and very creative at the way they interact with their customers and the pensions industry still has quite a long way to go I think in um, taking the best ideas from other sectors uh, for customer interaction and applying those to the way they interact with pension savers.